Skype video on Android. Many, many users of Android phones and tablets have been looking for simple, reliable video chat tools. Until recently, the most popular video chat apps included Tango, Fring, and Real Portal, each of which have been available for a long time and have garnered a fair share of users. However, the 500-pound gorilla of video chat has always been Skype. Skype is very well known among PC, Macintosh, and Linux users. It's the dominant voice over IP technology with hundreds of millions of users. Skype has offered reliable, good quality video communication on those platforms for years, but on most Android devices, Skype video was not available until the concluding month of 2011. We are very pleased to reveal that we have been using Skype video with good success on and between two Android tablets recently. We use one of two, the Wi-Fi only Samsung Galaxy Tab, and two of two, we use the Arcos 70 internet tablet, which is also a Wi-Fi only device. Now it's been interesting to watch the development and availability of Skype video on Android devices. Back in May of 2011, Microsoft announced that it had agreed to acquire Skype for eight and a half billion dollars and the business transaction was finally completed last October. During that period, everybody was wondering whether Skype would ever become fully developed on Android since Microsoft is committed to their own competing systems. However, we were encouraged to see several new releases of Skype for Android that announced availability of video services on more and more Android devices. We tried several releases of Skype with varying degrees of success on our two Android tablets. The first version that we found that works reliably and supports video on the Samsung Galaxy Tab is version 2.1.0.46. 2.1.0.46. However, it isn't perfect. It supports only the rear-facing camera back here. We tried some subsequent versions on our Samsung Galaxy Tab, hoping for support of both cameras, but none worked as well as 2.1.0.46, and in that process, we learned of a severe bug that made it impossible to really uninstall old versions of Skype without root privileges and some detailed manual file removal steps that most users will find beyond their level of patience. For the time being, we're sticking with version 2.1.0.46 and the Galaxy Tab's rear-facing video camera. Now, on the Arco 70 internet tablet, we had to wait for Skype version 2.5.0.160, but it works well, supporting the device's single front-facing camera. Would you like to see how this works between the two devices? I'm very pleased to introduce the lovely and talented Susan, who will assist me in this little demonstration. Susan? Thanks for watching this clip. If you are watching all of our clips just on YouTube, you are missing out on a lot of the very best stuff because this clip is part of a huge library. There are thousands of clips here at AskMrWizard.com related to this and similar subjects that will help you become the master of your own technology in your home or small business. This clip can be found in context with other related clips, related text, and our forums where we answer questions. You'll also find advertisements from vendors that sell things related to this study. Please support them and support us. We appreciate your help. From YouTube, it's very easy to get to our website. Just click on the link at the very beginning of YouTube's descriptive text.